playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime with the sleepy boys. Mark, are you playing a, a system or an emulator? No, this is a system. I actually have a a, a uh, thing. Oh, fuck. I, okay, I was just gonna say, if it turns out this is an emulator, and you could have just made that so much easier by creating fucking suspend points, I was gonna be so angry. Or just skip it. So, why the thing, thing actually, is, is the system I have does oh, act does act oh, as an just... emulator. So, we've got that save so point. You are an no, here's the thing. What, do you really want me to save right before I fall to my death? Yes. No, we want you to save when you're like halfway through a level so that you don't have to repeat half of it. Oh, God. My heart rate is fucking through the roof. I'm so fucking hard. <laughs> wow. I'm going to go get another drink because I ran out. <laughs> this is his fifth drink. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there, Chris? I'm writing down notes. Yeah? yeah? What's the red highlights for? Oh, I... I'll group everything as the same uh, to-do thing, <laughs> and then I'll just read it as one big anxiety. Oh, text. right. You're just like, this is an entire paragraph of what I have to do, and I'm going to kill myself. Oh, my God. Paint ah. ceiling. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> that got dark. What the fuck happened? No. It's been oh, one of my favorite TikTok trends right now. Is people oh, my God. I saw something the like ceiling. that. Yeah. That's what don't worry about it. Oh, why? It's not yours. I'm hey, curious guys. what you got going on. Nothing. It's hey, guys, I'm going to show you how Gen Zers paint the ceiling. I don't know what that just did. I wish boomers would paint the ceiling. So, Chris. Chris. Are you Chris, parents boomers? Chris. What? No, my parents are not boomers. Mine are. What generation are your parents? Uh, uh Gen Z? I'm sorry, or what? Gen X? No, it's not Gen Z. Gen X. Gen X people were born in 75 and beyond. Beyond. What was before them? Gen, uh, boomers. Well, boomers is, no, 49 to 64. Yeah. My parents so were about 68. Nine years okay, anyway. So, Chris, I was on TikTok the other day, and I saw this TikTok that made me think of you. It was a, a sliding glass door that was opening perfectly, and the caption on it was, when the sliding glass door opens just perfectly. And I was like, oh my god, my good friend Chris would love this. So I went to tag you in it, and then I realized it was yours. It was your fucking video. <laughs> Chris, I don't follow you on TikTok. Your shit just popped up on my dashboard. Oh yeah, I got like uh, 2,700 views on that. That's pretty stoked. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. I'm proud of our you. Boy went, our boy is doing better than this whole podcast is doing. I mean, that's not too surprising. I mean, I mean that one would... video did better than anything we've done ah! in all the hours that we've done for this show. Um, hours? Okay, I mean, try again, happen. honey. Yes, it's man. weeks. Months. And what makes up weeks? Hours. Hour, days? There you go, buddy. 525,600 will... I was, was hoping that? you were just going to leave it at men. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because Chris, Chris, are you saying Chris is gay, and that's why he sings about men? Yeah, huh? fully. Oh, I found a Donkey <laughs> Kong. Oh wow! It's almost like his name is in the game wow. title. I forgot. You know what game is stupid hard? None of them. <laughs> Dark Souls. Is that what you do? <laughs> Bloodborne. No. Um. Well, yes, those are. Tishina. What is Ghost of Ghost of Machine? No, um, I recently tried playing Donkey Kong Country Three. I was being funny. I was replacing. Never mind. It it doesn't work. I understand. It was a bad joke, Jeff. Thanks for calling me out on it. That's what Jeff does. Yeah, yeah. Someone has to. Um, I tried playing Go uh, Donkey Kong Country Three recently, and I didn't yeah. remember how fucking ridiculously oh, hard it is. Kong. What? Is that the one with Chicky Kong? Dixie Kong. I don't know her name. God, these names. But, you know. Um, okay, so now that I'm past okay. that fucking minecart level, I think yeah. we'll be okay. Yeah. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do it okay be okay, guys. 
Um, I think so too. I mean, if there's anything to know about video games, it's the further you progress, the easier it gets. Yeah, and if there's anything I know about Mark, I mean, really knows how to follow through on a video game. You guys are hurtful. <laughs> What are you talking about? Yes. Follow through. I'm yeah, always yeah. the one like, let's play a game, guys, and you're like, uh. Oh, no, no, no. I was talking about in your uh, ability to finish it. I've finished plenty of games. Game seventy three. Seventy three. Okay. Mark, uh, you finish in more bathrooms than you do video games, and that's a concerning number. <laughs> that was that was beautifully poetic. Thank you. <laughs> Mark, do you, would. So say you go to a new public park. Yeah. But it's got its own bathrooms. Did I not just answer your question? Do you pull a George Michael? <laughs> um, I don't know what that means. Are you getting a blowy in the ba park bathroom? Does someone tap your foot twice? Oh! Mark has had his foot tapped twice before. Multiple okay. times. In an airport bathroom. Airport bathroom, hey. the bathroom at a Macy's in Portland, Oregon. Um, oh, way to call it the Macy's, dude. Well, that, they've. I mean, not like we're gonna get a sponsorship from them now. Thanks, so, Mark. Have yeah. you been on Grinder before? Yeah. You know how you can change the like radius of which people uh, like you know the radius you're looking for. Yeah. You can change it so it's like. Hi. Yeah. Are you gay? Are you down? Yeah. Yeah, Mark's that's... done that a couple times in an airport. No, I didn't do it in an airport. <laughs> Grinder always tells people how far you are from them. Right, but not... you had an incident in an airport. No, no, bathroom. you made it sound like I set this up to happen. You're victim You're... blaming right now. No, it's called victim shaming. Mm. And that's if you expect <laughs> us to believe that you're ever a victim. That's fair. Uh, no, so yeah, this, this actually happened, uh, Jeff, right after... After the the wedding, a couple years ago. After your uh, wedding? No, oh no. my gosh, you're bold. Fuck. <laughs> no, after uh, after we went to after we I went to we all went to Chicago. Um, at the. I thought you were gonna say Chico uh, Chicago. 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 Um, yeah, at the at the airport in, in at the airport in uh, Minneapolis, I got uh, solicited. Very nice. It was not so nice. It, or... no. okay, I'm sorry. It was like a, it? it was like a 68 year old man. Mm -hmm. Wow. And he offered yeah. me money. Um, much? Or... Not enough. Okay. No, that's Wait, not how much is not enough? Well, like 50 bucks. <sighs> Twenty-seven dollars and a token to Chuck E. Cheese. Uh. Wait, two, wait. wait, how? Hold on. How did the a 60 some Cheese, year old? No. How did that 60-some-year-old man have a single token to Chuck E. Cheese? There are some questions I don't want the answers to, Brandon. I want the answer to this one because... I didn't think to ask as somebody, he was... Somebody as, needs to call Chris Hansen. He was aggressively like reaching under the stall to grab my, my penis. I wasn't about it. How low <laughs> down does your dick hang? <laughs> um, pretty low. <laughs> More than you think, but How's less your than dick you know. hang low? No. Oh, okay. I'm reaching in to grab chips out of a vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris, I love your metaphors. Oh, he didn't get on the ground and just was that a simile? Uh, He's sixty. That was a metaphor. It's gonna be a lot of work to get back up. He's old. Actually, no, that was a, that was a simile. <laughs> Similes connect with with like or as. Absolutely. Metaphors just do their own fucking thing. Metaphors are more straightforward. Yeah, just like my parents, whenever the neighbors would come over. Well, you know, at least someone had to be straight in your family. Yeah, but I don't think it's my dad. <clears throat> do you really think that your parents never, uh, cross-pollinated? Right. Yeah, I've got, dude, I've got stories, man. I've got plenty of stories. All right, hey, Mark, good news! The drunk uh, episode's the one to do it. So how often would they do these? Dude, shows? these fucking swinger parties were like every weekend. Like, I'm not exaggerating. A green bottle in the middle. There you go. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. So, um... You piece of shit? Guys, lots of reasons. Did, you guys, you, there, there's a, a messaging app. The same kind of messaging app that I accidentally saw my mom's cleavage on. Um, it's one that and connects... 
Yeah, okay, you're right. The pearl necklace. Uh, similar situation. And your sister's fur coat. Yes, god damn it with the fur coat. <laughs> the, a similar situation where the app connects with your contacts, right? What's um, that? Nat. Where'd it come from? I don't know, the sky. Wow! All these questions. Now he's mad at me. <laughs> okay, I'm going back to I'm back to the big screen here. Oh, uh, Jesus! So what ends up happening is my uh, my dad also has this chat app, but I don't like to use my real name when I'm doing things. Yes, yeah, so you catfished your dad, which then started your whole sexy trend of. I catfish. didn't catfish my dad. Okay, yeah, he saw a name. Hear- and message them immediately saying something to the effect of, I can't wait to be inside of you again. Uh-huh. <laughs> and and then, then all of a sudden, that one summer that you kind of forgot all made sense. And then, oh God, <laughs> can we not make jokes that my dad raped me? That doesn't feel like a good thing to joke about. Um, I'm sorry. So, You're right. No, that was that was a that, little that was a little was too a far line for me to cross. I definitely crossed it. Um, no, so he messages me like, you know, oh my god, I can't wait to be inside of you again, and then follows up with, when your husband's balls were on my chin, while he while you were sitting on my face, it was so hot. Mm. And at that point, I was like, Dad, did you have a fever? Where are they? Venice Beach. Well, they were on my dad's chin at that point, but. Uh-huh. You see, because call back to the fact that my dad had balls on his chin. Wait, 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 wait. Mark, Mark, Mark. Yes. Was he a bald Indian? How fancy were your dad's shoes? <laughs> <laughs> penny loafers, man. Penny, penny loafers. loafers. With the pennies in the <laughs> loafer. <laughs> Speaking of loafers, I did talk to my dad recently. I don't know. I don't, I'm. I'm just, no, I'm no, little... I was, I just wanted to call my dad a loafer. Oh, okay. It was I, all for the. It was a gag. It was a. It was a verbal gag. Well, I mean, I didn't need to know if he made you gag, but <laughs> it's weird setup for a joke. Taking the loafers, you talk to dad. Like, does he not work now? He's he's a sexual degenerate, and he doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I don't really have anything else to say, but yeah. This uh, is my favorite. My favorite show now. Is he? Ha- is he good looking? <laughs> No. Imagine me, but like 200 pounds heavier and nice. 60. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Chris, you definitely have a type there, bud. I do. You may just like that. <laughs> ah, no, nope, that's too mean. I was going to say you made like that monkey and hit the wall. <laughs> no, you're handsome. You know that. Uh, it's okay. I don't have to be. God damn it, I just want to get out of the fucking barrels and go. Um, so what do your parents do for a living? I don't fucking know. I don't talk to them anymore. Uh, they fucked the neighborhood. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't surprise me to find that out. I also found out that a bunch of my, uh, a bunch of their uh, MLM friends uh, were swingers. So That's every a hell of a sentence. <laughs> yeah, I know. My friends LMM, my, my parents MLM friends, uh, yeah, they were all swingers. So every time we'd be going to like their house parties... Turns out they were fucking, uh, you know, and good for them. Oh! Ah! I swear to God, those crazy wild eyed crocodiles look like something out of like Oni plays. Oh, thank God. Like, that, looks, that looks like some 3D model that Oni would have made. Oh, we found a save point, you guys. Thank God. Mark, have you been to therapy? I actively go to therapy. Do you? How's that go? Well... I don't want to kill to myself extra, anymore. He has to pay That's extra good. because his therapist also needs therapy, too. Shit, uh, I don't want to go to Funky. Although, if I go to Funky, I can go back to previous levels and get a bunch of lives. Mm. Uh, you know what's a really good level to get lives on? The fucking mine carts. <laughs> yeah, but it's only a good level to get lives on if you don't continuously die like an idiot. Well, the good news yeah. is I'm looking at the proper screen now. I'm not looking at the... Uh, OBS screen, so I might actually get somewhere than now. The Poppa screen? The Poppa screen. Oh. I gotta try to get my therapist back. I miss her. Betterhelp.com. 
use the promo yeah. code Dr. Drew. You know, Chris, if you and I got married, which I think would be really hot, um, yeah. you could actually get therapy through the VA. Oh, hell yeah. We could buy a house. No down. No money down. Yeah. And you're a handy man, so like we could, you, we wouldn't even have to hire people to fix the house if it broke. Fuck yeah. So call it a bad, a bad proposal, but what do you think? I dig it. I dig it. I'd watch that movie. <laughs> Isn't think, that essentially what Chuck and Larry? I was about to say, uh, yeah, that's just I, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Yeah. <laughs> except we're well, both better looking. They were, a tr they were successful firefighters. Yeah, and I was a successful person in the Coast Guard. Is this the one it's where the guy follows you? We're getting really loose with our terms with success. What's successful <laughs> and what's not, huh? Oh, shit. Here's where he follows me now. Huh. Oh. I thought you liked it when the guys follow you. I don't like it when the beaver chases me. That that's just seems a little <laughs> too thirsty. <laughs> Is the town of Beaver in Utah? Uh, I don't know. There might be a Beaver, Utah. I mean, there's fucking 87,000 weird fucking names, so it's very possible that there's a beaver, Utah. I have a feeling Gwen just ate my chicken breast, and I'm going to beat her half to death. I feel like we would have heard Jasmine go, damn it, Gwen, or something like that. That's what that was. Oh, I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking I'm snakes! I'm essentially a parent when it comes to our dogs, or I'm just like, if I didn't hear it, it didn't happen. Oh shit! I'm I'm like that with my nephews and nieces. Even if I do hear it, though, I don't. I just ignore it. Yeah, there's a big beaver in Utah. <laughs> God Is damn it, it, Diddy, you bitch! Um, God, wh where's Beaver, Utah? End up where I'll show you, Brandon. I don't have a beaver. Yeah. I have a. No, I hey, have a. No. Yeah, you're right. The VA won't pay for that surgery yet. It's area code 435. That's like half the state. <laughs> you're not breaking any new ground here, Jeff. That's half the state. It's 38 degrees, 16 minutes, 35 seconds north, 112 degrees, 38 minutes, 20 seconds west. What are I some don't... what are some cities nearby? Nothing. It's in Utah. There's nothing there. That's actually it's not. That that's not true at all. Where are you again? I live in Orem. O R A M. O R E M. Like you know, like when you finally get to that deep part of sleep, and you're like, oh, REM. It is two and a half hours southwest of you. Oh, okay. Or yeah, there's there's literally nothing out there. Yeah, of course the. Yeah, the uh, population's like 3,000. All right, Funky, let's get me some live. Um, What's the dickhead uh, bad guy in this game called? Captain Rule. K. Rule. Kind of looks like K. my Rule dad. A... K. Rule's an asshole in Smash Brothers. He really is. He's I a bigger know. asshole in Donkey Kong 64. He's also an asshole in all of the Donkey Kong Country games. Is Donkey Kong 64 the one where you get different guns? Uh, yeah. Every All of them have different kind of like yeah, coconut weapons. Awesome. Yeah, or Don like, like Diddy's got like a like machine gun? A, a, a Kimbo that shoots like a... <laughs> oh, fuck. Peanuts. Peanuts! 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 You know, I will say the later sleepy, uh, later scary movie. I thought you were going to say, terrible. you know, the later Sleepy Boy episodes really did fall off. Well, they did. <laughs> but no, like, I wasn't a it's huge funny. fan of, like, some of the later scary movies. But to this day, the camping scene from, I think it was Scary Movie 4 was, like, my favorite one of all time. Can, I don't think I what are you doing? Just reaching for some nuts? Just, I'm just trying to give me some nuts. Man, what are you doing? I just want some penis. God. That, uh, Marlon Wayans? Uh, in the third and fourth one, it was Kevin Hart and, uh, I don't remember the other guy's name. Yeah, Kevin Hart was in those movies? Yeah, he was. He, he was in. Was? Holy shit. Yeah, he was the guy in the camping scene. Holy fuck. I haven't watched that in so long, I did not remember. Yeah, he's the one that said he wants some peanuts. Some penis? 
Well, that's what it sounds like he says, but he says peanuts. Oh. You remember when everyone got on his case because he was just like, man, I just wouldn't know what to do if my uh, son was gay. I just wouldn't know how to deal with it. And everyone's like, how dare he? And it's like, you know, he said that like 12 years ago. Yeah. I really love that Jeff decided to go into really controversial waters real fast. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's how I roll. Continue.